Hi everyone, I'm Lala Bad. Welcome. No, that's not me. That's this is me right here. Right here. This is me. <laughs> uh, today I am showcasing the Frida Kahlo palette that Ulta Beauty has just released. Um there's a couple items in the collection. It is a it's, it is a collector's item, so uh, if you want to see that haul that I did, I'll I'll put that in the comments below. Um, I researched Miss Kahlo's look, and uh, I thought that she was a really trendy lady. She existed from 1907 to 1954, and in that time, she really made an impact with her art and with her signature look. That being the unibrow and really bright blush and bright lips. Uh, she was, in fact, a trendsetter. Uh, did you know that she had polio as a child and later on she was in a bus accident and while recovering from that accident she found her love for painting she painted her pain she painted her dreams she was very iconic in that way I wanted to showcase her look as my first try out with this eyeshadow palette because I thought that her look was very iconic. It was very um, trendy at that time. Again, her she was born in 1907 to 1954. And in that time, she was very much a fashionista, if you think about it. She had a love for her her culture and you can see that in her art she had very manly features if i if i i feel like her jawline was very masculine and uh no in no way disrespect to her i thought that her she was very beautiful to me um so this blush is a blush bronzer duo and it is bright. Now, I thought that I, it was not going to show up on me, but it showed up on me. And um, so I just kind of blew that out right like right on that cheekbone up into the temple. And then uh, the bronzer and the blusher, that's actually kind of a, a brilliant idea because your bronzer does actually go right under your blush. So um, I kind of just, you know, brushed it out a little bit just to blend it in. But, you know, I didn't really blend it out too much because I did want it to look very dramatic. Um, I'm starting off with the color Soul. I believe the yellow is the Soul. I know I wanted to use that yellow. And I'm kind of just um, putting it all over the lid just to brighten up my eye and make it look bigger because I'm going to be adding um, darker colors on the outside. But that yellow blended very well. I had no fallout. Um, very beautiful colors. When I swatched these colors, they were really super buttery. Even the um, matte colors, they blended out beautifully. And I really, really like that. Okay, so this um, brush cleaner, I don't know what it's really called, but it comes with the eyeshadow palette in the, the collector's box. Um, so I just wanted to show that I'm using the same brush throughout the whole look because I wanted a really big brush. Um, brush because I was going to be using these colors in big ways and I dipped my brush into the adobe color which is like an, a reddish orange and I wanted again to be dramatic and I blended, blended it out and blew it up um, to connect with that blush um, and I think um, it's a really, again, these colors are really blendable and they feel so soft. They don't feel dry and chalky like a lot of eyeshadows do. I'm really surprised about by, by Ulta. I, I really am really shocked because I um, played with an Ulta palette before and those colors were not pigmented. Those colors did not blend. They were super dry and chalky. So for these to be so well made, the formula is actually really really bomb and this has opened my eyes to maybe um invest into some ulta makeup 
Now, I'm not going to say every piece is like this, but whatever they come out after this palette, I'm definitely going to look into because they are not that expensive. This palette did cost $30, but again, it was a it is a collector's item, and that's the only reason why I picked it up because I really, um, really um, love this woman's art. Okay, so I dipped my brush into Magic. This is a, I want to say, I guess it would be like a mauve shimmer. Again, the, the, the shimmers, if, go look at that swatch video that I did. I do an up close and personal swatch. And those shimmers, I swear, are like butter. Um, I off, okay, so I dipped into Amore. And um, I'm just putting that on the um eyeline eyeline part but i'm not putting it all the way and then i'm putting it on the bottom of my lash line yeah um and i'm doing that because i again when i researched her looks she she looked like she had like um i don't know how to describe it um but there was definitely definition under her eye and i wanted to just kind of re replicate that so um, I'm also, so I, I know I dipped into Amore and I also dipped into Lava and I brought that color down uh, just to make my eyes seem bigger. Yeah, I'm dipping into Lava right here and I'm bringing that all the way across. The Amore I just kind of put on the um, first half of the under eye and then Lava I put on fully under the eye, blending it, blending it out right now. Uh, just so that it doesn't look so, um, just so it looks blended out. All right, so I picked up this um, Wet n Wild eye pencil. I don't know the color. It's like a light peach color, and I'm putting that on the lash line, and I'm also putting it on the top, the top line, and then I'm dipping into the. It's like a gold shimmer called Muse, and I'm putting that on the inner corner of my eye, and also on. The bottom part of the inner corner of the lash line bringing it up uh up to the top of my little little bit not much it's in the corner lid top corner lid girl i do not y'all just just watch what i'm doing <laughs> um and i did this again to widen my eye but also to keep it bright and um you know illuminating and just again to widen my eye I feel like it widens my eye I did not go crazy with the liner I did a very small line just because I'm going to be adding lashes I didn't do anything dramatic like that because she in her makeup again when I researched she didn't wear winged liner she didn't go crazy on the liner so just just to define my eye I added the black liner and uh, then I added lashes. What I don't know what at this point. Oh, I'm, okay, so this is the lippy. Um, this is in the color, I think it's passion or seduct. I don't remember, seduction or passion. I, pi I picked up two, I believe there's four total. Um, but I just, I didn't use no lip liner or anything. I just wanted to use the product by itself. I wanna say that those, those lipsticks were matte and they were not, too drying I really like that the lashes I went all natural not lashes not all natural I went natural with the lashes but this is my finished look I wanted to show you um, as you can see I think I got it down I used this Dollar Tree shawl and this headband I bought for Halloween and that's the look I hope you like this video if you did please give me a thumbs up thanks for watching bye